because it's well, interesting. Did you make it yourself? Yes. They were trip pants, and then I let a friend borrow them, and they split them in the crotch. There's holes all over it. I see. It's so upside down pants. Oh, wait, are those the yeah. legs that your arms are in? Yes. <laughs> Show me the back. All right. Ha. I've never. Have you ever seen that before? Or you made it up, or what? I couldn't do anything else with them. I made it up. Well, you got quite a fan group here. I swear, I sat here all day alone. You show up. I'm surrounded. Everyone loves them. Don't you guys? Everyone loves them. <laughs> nice, nice. It looks very good, very good. Do you help her with this, or where does the creativity come? From her mother? Here. And you're here to get. She's. Did you? Did she have to talk you into get a getting a piercing, or you've been wanting one for a while? She wants another one, but I'm telling her. Which one. And the lips you're think, thinking? Oh. Either a Marilyn or a Madonna. Interesting. Just one though, not two. Not both. Nah, she's not that part. Oh, I didn't know that the left one. One's a Marilyn and one's a Madonna. Yeah. I, that's news to me. I've heard of the Marilyn before. What, what's that? Your question? Uh, this was from the Halloween store. And I got a one. Yeah, if you just look up that bag. Have you ever thought about wearing more black and going goth? Black. And... I usually wear all black. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. They just have to do one of those days. I'm not. Alright. Very nice. Alright. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Yeah. You live where there's Walmarts. I know. We don't have Walmarts here. Did you, see, you like the drawing that I did? Yeah, it was good. Did you see the drawing I did of her? I loved it. Oh, very good. It was cartoony, realistic too. Yeah. Tried. You captured many of her little nuances. She had to get all the piercings right. This is something too. When I first met you. I was, uh, I, th I didn't, I don't want to use the B word, no, I was a bitch. but I was surprised at how you talked to your mom at the time, and I'm really happy that that, that, that changed. That but it sounds like now it's a little bit more like, well, you seem, your relationship has improved, clearly. It's unconditional love, you had to kind of love her through that part. She came to me on her 16th birthday, which was just before Mother's Day last year. All right. I know I've been a bitch for the last two years, and I apologize. Oh, I'm impressed. That's actually, that doesn't happen much in this world. That yeah. That's different. And most of the time it happens, you know, when the parents are dead. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Say, hey, what, what, what sparked that? You just saw it in yourself? Or you had someone talk? Uh, yeah, I grew up. So I'm impressed. Most people don't, so. Did, had it been something that had been troubling you for a while? Or you just, all of a sudden you were like, no. Why am I acting like yeah, this? I was like, okay, that was kind of stupid. I want to be treated like an adult and acting like a child. So. Oh, I'm impressed. That makes that's pretty cool. Uh, and I noticed it too. This year, uh, yeah, I met you. Yeah, I met you like a year ago, or maybe more. It was two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah, and that's when I was like, wow, okay. That's when her and Bianca were out here. Yeah. And I, I noticed it too. And then I, what's funny is, uh, yeah, you came around. I was impressed to see that. It was very noticeable. It wasn't just whatever. Well, very I knew noticeable. You better than I came. and say, which my daughter talked me into getting piercings and uh, <laughs> <laughs>